So now that we know how those millions of photos here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway are archived and how our history is preserved for future generations, now let's talk a little bit about how you, when you come to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Museum, you can have an opportunity to take some photos home with you or maybe do a little of your own research. I'm here with Chris Owens, who runs the photo department here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, but the IndyCar Series as well. So if he's not here, he's on the road shooting photos and managing the team that does. Chris, this is sort of the cool place for a customer to come in and really see some of the things that you have already prepared that you know people want to see. So for example, cars that started in this year's Indianapolis 500. But if I'm a customer, I can also come up here and do a little bit of research. So for example, if I said, man, I remember reading a book as a kid that had A.J. Foyt wrestling a lion. You could yes, probably sir. help me figure that out and find those photos. Absolutely. In fact, you might have it right here. Absolutely, Doug. <laughs> um, you know, we have images from almost everything that's ever happened out here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Anything from a, a PR event or media style event all the way to um, Victory Circle. Elio Castroneves here in 2001 winning his first. Um, you know, if you're a big fan of someone like Rick Mears, here he is with uh, Mario Andretti along with AJ Foyt. So that's a pretty legendary photo. You know, we get folks that come up here that are even studying history. Here's Amelia Earhart um, here. Uh, you know, back, um, you know, way back when, as well as uh, Rick Mears and, and others, uh, the, the Unsers. So any any type of motorsport that we've had out here, which is all obviously top forms over the years from F1, IndyCar, NASCAR, and so on, it's, it's all here. So if I want to research, you can obviously help point me in the right direction, but we have some of that on a digital archive so they can sit down at a computer and you've got some general photos basically from every year. Uh, that could help people in their research if they don't want to really dive into it and go back into those archives. Absolutely, Doug. Uh, you know, we have through the computers, you can go through uh, every Indianapolis 500, an event that we've had here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Obviously, a lot more stuff from the digital age uh, with the whole photography process so much easier now um, to manage, but uh, as well as vintage scans um, dating back to even before the, the first Indianapolis 500, dating back to construction of the facility. So. You know, it's really quite a remarkable um, archive that we're incredibly proud of here. You also do a little bit of artwork that's creative as well that yes, fans sir. can purchase while they're here. Yeah. So, so is that you and your team come up with this artwork or how do we develop that? Absolutely, Doug. So that's obviously photographed by all of our Indianapolis Motor Speedway um, and IndyCar Series photographers here. And this is just a great place to showcase some of the best. So, you know, something like this, uh, I took myself a rainy morning at the Speedway. A lot of people would think to stay inside, but you know, that's uh, when you get some nice reflections and things like that. So we periodically go out day to day to just take beauty shots of the, uh, the facility, everything. So hours, basically when the museum is open Tuesday through Saturday. Yes, sir. So close on Monday, Monday, Sunday and Monday. Correct. And if somebody was doing a big project, is it possible to come in and say, hey, can I schedule a time to come in and meet with Chris or Joe or Kendra or somebody here? Absolutely. Um, you know, this, we like to think of this as well as a library. Uh, we're more than willing to help uh, any kind of research. And yeah, if you want to go ahead and uh, you know, check in here at the desk and let us know you may have a big project, that's something we can assess, assist with um, or even create special hours to go on to that kind of project. That's awesome. So fans, a lot of history here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Museum on the first floor and in the basement, but there's a ton of history up here in the photo department. So if you're looking for the, that image, if you're looking for that relative that you think was a riding mechanic back in the day, this is the place to check it out. Last question for Chris, and then we're gonna close this behind the bricks here, but how cool was it to be a part of taking this four-time winner shot this year after LA won his fourth? Man, you know, that was just really one of the highlights of me working here, um, especially, you know, just knowing that all these guys are around at one time. It's just, you know, that's so much history in that one shot. And, and for me, you know, it was the coolest day of my career so far is getting to shoot Elio win his fourth, you know, you see all these photos from years in the past where photographers have shot that, but for me getting to shoot a four-time winner, that was that was really incredible. And then this day, seeing all of them in one place, that was even so much more. Yeah, it was a really special moment. That's something fans could take home. So when you're here next time, or when you're just passing through, you wanna check out some photos. Roger Pinsky even comes up here. He came up here to get some photos from 1951, his first Indianapolis 500. You can do the same. Thanks for joining us on Behind the Bricks and kind of inside the vault of things that happen at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. We'll see you next time on Behind the Bricks.